Ähm, Engage Bus von Nokia und äh, er wird uns ein bisschen was erzählen über Simo, die neuen Controller, die Funktionalitäten, was ist neu, was, ist, was erwartet uns und wo werden wir es überhaupt in der, äh, im alltäglichen Leben anwenden? Ich kann sicherlich das Sven beantworten. Das ist ein Portal. Um, engage. Please describe something about it uh, and tell us what's the new about the C mode and the spe special uh, things that you uh, say this is our USB. Okay. Uh, basically, first of all, what the uh, what we're doing here is we're introducing the Zemo JS1 controller. It's a Bluetooth joystick that connects to your Nokia N-Gage phone and allows you to control all of the N-Gage games with the remote control. Basically, what we do is we have an application that gets loaded onto the phone. The application is called Z-Key, and it maps the keys on the phone to the controller. And that automatically allows all of the N-Gage games to automatically be compatible with the controller. Okay. Let's say attention while you're here in the games point. So it's definitely a controller for gamers. It's for, for mobile gamers. It's for mobile gamers, yes. it, although uh, the controller itself is not limited just to gaming. Because we're taking over basically control of the user interface, you can use the JS1 to browse the internet, you could use it to uh, use with your uh, mapping applications. Basically, any application that will run on an, uh, an N series phone with Ziki will uh, be enabled. Okay. Uh, it's an, an absolutely different uh, kind of a way to. Uh, okay. to interface because uh, the trend Apple iPhone and so on is touch three. Yes. Now, uh, personally, I believe that uh, there are certain problems with using a touch screen for gaming. One of which, and kind of an obvious one, is that you're using the user interface happens to be the same thing that you're trying to look at to play the game. So your fingers are actually getting in the way of the of the visual experience. By having the, the controller be a separate device in, in your hand, you're able to hold the cell phone perfectly still, you're able to focus directly on the game, and you never have to take your eyes off the screen to figure out how to control the game because it fits naturally in your hand and you automatically know where the buttons are and what the joystick does. But uh, it's an, an extra... Um, it is an extra thing to carry, but you can think of it. Uh, so instead I carry my controller and I don't have to carry my PSP or my uh, Nintendo DS. I, I get that kind of... Gaming quality out of myself the evolution. Um, and, and you see, and you see uh, Nokia on the way to entertainment. More entertainment than to business, or it's an. It's an I guess the way to look at it is uh, the, the most obvious need that we saw was in gaming. That, there was, that, that the user interface for gaming just wasn't sufficient to give a good user experience, and so that's why we attacked them. Definitely, and. An an alternative to PSP and maybe iPhone and right, especially for uh, for the emerging market. I mean, you can look at uh, places like India and China and look at the, their potential purchase of some of these uh, Nokia N series phones to actually replace their gaming console or take the place of a gaming console. So I have my cell phone. It's also my internet device. It's also my gaming console. Ah, is um, the is the C uh, mode uh, also available uh, to other uh, Nokia models? Uh, it's well, basically any of the uh, Nokia models, uh, the N series phones, and they are, they are having one of their music phones will be compatible. Anything that's compatible with N-Gage will be compatible with Ziki. So, you can explain. Okay, so we've paired, we've turned on the Ziki application, and so now by moving the joystick, I can choose my applications directly from the phone. Okay, so now it's going to launch Engage. So here's Engage. Here's the main Engage menu, and now I can go over. Here's all my Engage games, and I can go and select through them. So here, let's run uh, Asphalt 3, which is a driving game. Okay. Okay, so now the game is running, and we'll use we'll use the joystick to control the car. So
But you get the idea. So I can control the game completely with the Zemo controller. And the big advantage that we have with this strategy of using a separate application to enable the controller is that we didn't have to make any changes to the existing game. So it's taking an existing game and adding a new element of control.